Yantra is a project based out of IIT Bombay, which is funded by the Ministry of Education. It's been around for 12 years. We've gone from training students to training students to become innovators for local disruption, who will turn problems into opportunities. It's been equipping students with the skills of actually building stuff and building machines to solve problems. We are amazed by the quality of the manpower in even the smallest of colleges, but they have no practical exposure. They are mostly unemployable. And as a result, placements are very poor. We are empowering and training these young engineers and trying to turn them into the kind of resource that the country really needs. We have two major initiatives through which we train these students. One is the Iyantra Robotics Competition, where we train you in skills. Once we've trained them in skills, we train them in innovation and entrepreneurship systematically. The way we've done this is that to make it easier for them to learn marketable skills, we've developed technology stacks. One is a mobile robotics stack, right, which is here on top. The other is a drone software stack. And then we train them in how to build embedded systems and stuff like that. And we train them in how to use open source software, which is uh, the software foundation lab, how to use Linux and how to take data from the net and crunch it and stuff like that. We teach them IoT skills. We've, we've developed a totally free and open source stack, right? with which you can build IoT applications. And what is the impact of this? We are impacting their self-confidence, we are impacting their technical skills, and we are impacting their problem-solving abilities. So until now, we've almost trained 200,000 students who registered for the various initiatives, trained about 6,000 plus teachers, and we've in, uh, engaged with three, two, four, five plus colleges. As a result of this training that we've been giving the students, there have been spontaneous startups. We also established labs, which are like places where we seed an innovation culture. And we have about 430 labs across the country. What we train students in is the skills to take control of a machine like this and make it do something useful. So what do the students themselves say? I personally like Yantra a lot because in this you can implement things. It's very different from the theoretical knowledge that we learn. For example, we have studied control system in our course, but when we actually tune our drone using ROS, it was entirely different. How the KP, KD, KI are actually affecting the drone, what is its stance of function. Earlier, the projects were just for the sake of examination. But now they are thinking as a furnished product. That is the biggest achievement for uh, our college by setting up this ELSI. Here's Hitesh Vavle, who's very grateful. He's gone to Carnegie Mellon University to do robotics. And he's thrilled with his Yantra experience. He says, because of Yantra, I was able to get the maturity, technological maturity to get there. Here's Shruti Joshi, who's got a job with Google India because all her problem-solving skills that she got and which she was appreciated for were learned in e-antra. It's very scalable. That means we can go to large numbers of students without any overhead. And we use open source software, which is all free. We use online interaction through the internet. So it gives a level playing field. The talent bubbles up to the surface. And we teach them hard skills and more importantly, the soft skills which will help them later in life.